Oh, uh, this is the so-called no-name build of mine, which I created to show off that you can make a build without fox prayers um, and still have really good damage. It goes even higher uh, than with fox prayers and also higher than running three times providence here. Most of the players are using three times providence just for having uh, the headshot damage is the first stat that you don't really need as a soul drive player. It's good, but on longer distance you can hit head anyways, so uh, it's all basically just for crit chance and crit damage on the end, which comes on the end on, on Providence, that's why you use three times. What I did here is I am using the improvised stuff, because the improvised uh, holster, gloves and knee pads also have now mod slots in it. So these are generic mods, you can fit whatever you uh, want to in. So I used critical hit damage here. It's not yet min-maxed. When it is min-maxed, this build here, it will have 9% more crit damage as the Providence defense and does a lot more damage than Providence defense set. So it's a viable option for the Soul Driver players without using the Fox players. If you don't have or you don't want to uh, craft like crazy because you need to craft these and it's really hard because you have to craft a lot of stuff. Uh, you can run Fox players here too, which will work anyway. Let's show you the, the stats that I'm using here. I'm always using this um, P416 here which is a god roll one with damage to target of cover and strained is for me the best talent on it because the firing rate is on 70 50 uh, 750 so if you go higher than 750 i would use optimist um, because optimist is then better strained only works on this one here because the firing rate is at 750 if it goes lower strained is better <clears throat> but it works on 750 perfectly fine here what i'm using right now uh is because the stats, I need the crit chance on it. So I used here, I use the crit chance as the scope, crit chance for the muzzle, and use crit damage here already for the grip. Uh, when the build is min-maxed with these other pieces there, you can easily exchange this one here to crit damage too, because you will go to like 55% crit chance, with this usually the perfect number. Don't go to 60, that's silly, it really is. Uh, you don't need 60. 55 is the number I always aim for on crit chance. Okay, let's show you real quick here. So it's one part of Grupo, one part of Walker Harris for the weapon damage, and one part Fenris, obviously. You want that 10% for your assault rifle. And the rest is all crafted improvised. So you run here, obliterate, because it's crit damage also, which is a stack you can get really easily. It's mostly like end of the first clip or one clip and you got the full buff ready for the next one and it lasts pretty much long uh, vigilance for the backpack is a good choice uh, you could also run intimidate here and adrenaline rush which works too which we'll show in another video for my first boss video will be it uh, for the first boss on the iron horse raid where i use it all the time so Rupo, you run everywhere like basically crit damage crit chance is how many you need if you put everything to crit chance, crit chance is always better on the, uh, like, if you have crit chance, it's always better to use crit chance basically on the weapon and go here uh, for anything else. But you don't really need the headshot damage. So this build here is aiming basically just for crit chance and crit damage. So the mask, this is a chest I'm running here. It's a really good one I found yesterday uh, with obliterate. So also crit chance, crit damage, and you put another crit damage mod in here. So crit damage mods all the way through. Uh, same for the holster, crit chance, crit damage, crit damage mod. Uh, the knee pads, crit chance, crit damage, crit damage mod. I don't have a perfect one yet. I lost two damage mods, I don't know why. The game uh, likes to delete them for me. I had them ready. So like I said, it's pretty hard to get these parts here min max because you can only craft them. So if you craft these parts, uh, look that you get something above 10% for crit damage and somewhere here around 5% crit chance. Everything that is near to 5% will replace one mod on your weapon because it's 5% on the weapon and it's 6% on the gear. Um, and then reroll the weapon damage basically to uh, 15%. This is the most important stat here. So craft these, look for crit damage, crit chance, somewhere around this and reroll the weapon damage to max. And same on the knee pads. It's like everywhere crit chance, crit damage. Then you look at your stats and if you go close to 55 i have 52 here now when it's like i said when it's min max it should be 57 if you get it min max uh and then you can replace another mod on the weapon here basically the muzzle i would keep this scope here because it makes the weapon a little bit more stable don't ask me why it's division uh but it stabilizes the weapon a little bit if you use the other crit, chan uh, crit chance scope here 
the weapon gets more unstable. I don't know why it is like this, but it is. <clears throat> and the numbers are pretty good here. So above 200% crit damage, headshot damage, like I said, is not that important. It's basically more a build for body shot on a distance. You can like body shot everything on a distance. Uh, if you're good at headshots, okay, you could go for more headshot damage. Instead of replacing the mods on the weapon for crit damage, leave them as crit chance and put more crit damage on your build, like here. Like, don't use crit chance, use headshot damage here, if you're good at headshots. Uh, it's a viable option, but it's not a must. So, basically, all everywhere, crit chance, crit damage. And that is my no-name build here. I will show other videos for the other loadouts, because people ask for it, but this is the one here. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, try to build it. Like I said, the crafting is a bit pain in the ass here uh, for these parts, but it should be a viable option. Okay then, have fun with the build and see you on the next one.